Okay, so this is Audi Q7 2008, which has MMI 2G. The software version right now is 4140. Since everything is working, I didn't update it to 4610. That is the latest version for the MMI 2G. So today, I want to show you something that a lot of people seem to have misconception about Audi AMI cable. So even though with 2016 uh, Audi still give people old 30 pin iPod which we no longer use and this is the iPhone 3 okay I don't know why they did that but it, that's not the point the point is that all of the cable AMI cable that looks like this although they have all type of different part number on here but the main thing is that they only different in the resistor detection of either you have 18k or you have 1.8k so the 18k is for MMI 3G and 1.8k is for MMI 2G and when you buy from eBay this cable that has this one on it this auxiliary 3.5 millimeter jack for your phone all they did is to change the detection resistor from whatever 1.8 or 12.8 down to zero today I just modify the AMI cable from my VW 2015 now in turn on this one is actually it's MMI 3G so it's 18k so what am I doing right now is I'm making this cable I splice the resistor cable outside so I can parallel uh, with a 2k so it will become 1.8 I splice out the USB plus and minus so that I can hook up USB drive with M M with MP3 in here at the same time I also create a USB dongle so that whenever my daughter wants to stream the music on the fly so this one simple cable here VW okay now is in the Q7 so a lot of people was saying that um, 4140 cannot play a mp3 actually it does so now let's play audio auxiliary this is my interface So now, look at this. Whatever you... Let me see if I can play movies. Ah, I put movies in here, but it didn't play. So it's only a uh, scan for MP3. That's it. So how do I change this one? Make it so that it's on the fly. Actually, I hooked up 
an electronic relay and this relay is that every time I plug in the USB for my dongle Bluetooth it will automatically turn into auxiliary and I can play the music from the phone so just say my daughter wants to stream the, her music onto this one she doesn't like all the songs in here all I do is to plug it in there's no device connected is because so now this audio source is active and I'm going to setting and look on the Bluetooth I should see my Bluetooth is connected with the player so all we need to do is to play music So it's on the fly, isn't it? Now. Isn't that beautiful? All from this ugly cable that I made. So now I can play, unplug this one. So it will say no device connected because they have to sense that 1.8K is there and the USB connected so if I do reset it should come up and it will send that yes this is MR2G because it's got 1.8K in it and also it has MP3 in the USB so all I need is any cable but the best is to use the MMI 3G because it's a bigger resistor 18K you can parallel with 2K to make 1.8 so that you can use with the MI 2G and all you need is a way to short the 2 the resistor so that you can get the auxiliary so again I'm going to plug this one in so the relay will turn on at the same time it will power up my USB uh, Bluetooth no device connected give it some time there it is audio external source is active because I plug in this one okay so this is the eGolf I'm going to plug the cable that I made in here originally from this. Okay, so let's choose media source. You see that? I see Toshiba, which is my USB. And guess what? This one doesn't even care if I have a 1.8K or 2. Uh, 18k so I'm gonna choose this is my um, alright so it works so now I'm gonna plug in my USB okay so I'm at Toshiba which is the external USB now if I show that together now I have auxiliary so I will choose auxiliary and then I'm going to choose my song so I disconnect this one see it already has the if I disconnect this one it should work because I already connected to the US uh, Bluetooth on this car 
so now it should work. See? So now it works. AMI cable from the VW, which is supposedly for the AMI 3G. So I splice out the pin 21 and pin 22, which is the resistor detection. And I make it so that it will parallel with uh, 2K resistor here. And also, it's connected to a relay that can short this together to turn it into auxiliary mode. Okay, so this is the jack for the 3.1, uh, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary to go in. So inside here, you will have pin 1 as channel 1, uh, channel right, pin 2, channel left, and pin 3 is the ground. So if you open this up, inside here there's three pins. And this will go to the pin 1, 2, and 3. This one right here is a female USB. So it has four pins. One is a positive 5 volts and one is a negative. And the two, the other two in the center are data plus and data minus. So this one is the the plus go to the 28, pin 28, and the ground go to pin 25, I believe. And the other two are pin 17 and 18. So look at the uh, pin out. So this is where you put your USB uh, hard drive. So all the Bluetooth, this is a Bluetooth dongle. And all the Bluetooth dongle should have a power of 5 volts and an output. So the 5 volts USB is the one that I made so that it will turn on the, this is the relay it will short when I plug the USB 5 volts in and also the female 5 volts on this one is the one that I supply the 5 volt voltage for the relay and also the, U uh, the Bluetooth so I plug this in and then I plug this one into the female 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. Then whenever I stream, it will go into the auxiliary and go into the uh, MMI, AMI. Okay? So that's it. That's the cable.